everyone as they come toward the end of the year, year, year six students as well, you know, it's sort of around my kids' age and a lot of the normal things that we would do to celebrate the end of the year and sort of the completion of a big stage of education, um, of course, because of health guidelines, we aren't able to do them in exactly the same way. And it, it, I guess that's sort of um, got the kernel of one of my big tips for everyone who's out there trying to struggle through this year, which is honestly stressful and the best of times. Uh, and that is to remember that a huge part of learning, um, it happens in community, it happens together. It's one of the reasons why schools are so amazing. It's one of the reasons why lockdown has been so challenging, um, not just at a school level, but also just for all our relationships. Um, so one of my big tips there, especially now is several year 12 students uh, finishing up their HSC trial exams. They're getting to that point where they've got everything from the last 13 years of schooling crammed into their brain all at once. <laughs> Uh, my recommendation is as they head to the end, there's a bunch of things that we normally do, you know, revise, do practice exams, all that kind of thing. Uh, my big tip is to do a lot of that learning alongside your peers. You know, I often, when I was studying at home, I would just, you know, spend half an hour and then I'd get up and I'd walk to the fridge and I didn't know why I was there at the fridge. I thought, how did I get here? What was the reason? Um, and it's just because you know, our brains, we need to be with other people in order to, so much learning is actually social. So um, I think that group study sessions are a really powerful way to keep motivated um, and also to keep your eye on the prize. So we've still got a couple of months to go, at least here in New South Wales.